if you want to see how I achieved this look, stay tuned. Quality time with you. Okay, I'm still trying to get it approved, so that's what we got for now. <laughs> okay. Hey, y'all. Ooh, ooh, dance break. Mm, mm, mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. <laughs> oh my gosh, how you guys doing? Good? Yeah. That's all good. <laughs> Um, I just wanted to show y'all really quickly uh, a little little block tour in my hair. Uh, so I will list everything of course in the description box below, but right now all I'm using is free the roots um, I believe it's the lemon one that I'm using the hydrating mist the moisture the moisturizing hydrating mist and Just a little bit of olive oil um, To seal everything in and I know I normally use castor oil, but this is all I had on hand So that's just what I used and I'm just prepping. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The lemon herb hydrating mist. Yeah, that's the one I'm using. And I do have a discount code that I will leave in the description box below. Okay, so boom. I split my hair into two sections because I knew that I wanted the back end to be um, longer than the front because we trying to get a mullet. <laughs> but yeah, so I started out by doing like a flat twist situation on the side because I knew I wanted the sides to appear shorter. Uh, I don't know if this is making any kind of sense. But yeah, so I did like a little flat twist and the way I parted and you guys will see in like, I believe like the next clip, but I parted like in an upward triangular type motion uh, just to give me um, like the tighter length on the front but then like a, a mid length in the middle if that makes I'm probably making no sense you probably like girl what uh, hopefully yeah here we are and I try to make sure that I wrap all the way to the center so that it stays in the middle and you guys will see like the difference in length that this provides for me um, later on in the tutorial but oh my gosh you guys I was able to secure a loctician to do uh, to answer some questions so again if you guys have any questions that you want answered by an actual loctician please leave them in the comment section below so that I can get that oh wait I thought I was cute Ooh. <laughs> uh, so that I can get those questions answered for you guys because I'm gonna do like a, a little I think like a QA and a type crossover type thing yeah yeah, yeah yeah so leave leave all your questions yeah, yeah, yeah. thank you <laughs> And I decided to speed this part up because I'm like, I did basically the same thing. But if it's too fast for you, you are more than welcome to like slow down the speed. Uh, yeah, personally, this is a, a little confession. I watched like all my videos in two times speed. Don't judge. Look at you already. You over there judging. <laughs> but I don't know it just makes sense to me so when people be like oh yeah girl I watched your video like really fast I'll be like same <laughs> I don't know why but it just works for me but also why does my face always look so serious when I'm trying to figure out hairstyles I don't know but y'all this is my first attempt at a mullet come on what this is kind of cool yeah I know okay <laughs> I feel like next time what I would do is try to find some rubber bands that are a little bit closer to my hair color But these were all the rubber bands that I had and I was not going to the store and also it was Thanksgiving And I didn't know if the store was gonna be open and I wasn't gonna check so <laughs> That's what we got. Oh, I did end up putting a rubber band just to bring those two like a little bit closer together Um, Yeah, this is But yeah, there's like the triangular motion or parting that I was kind of sort of talking about. So like you want to part it like angled down, almost like if you were to be cutting your hair into like a fringe almost. I think I think that's the, the technique that I was trying to like go for. Like I was like, ooh, like if I'm cutting downward in this motion, then this would help to achieve that look. I don't, yeah, I hope it makes sense. <laughs> 
and there I'm going again, just making sure that I'm moisturizing as I go to make them as flexible as possible. Ooh, but also you guys, oh my gosh, so I've been meditating um, the past week and a half, I want to say, um, for like 15 minutes upwards to 45 minutes. And I'm just like, what? So freaking dope. I know I talked about this in the past, but like, I'm trying to just work on uh, being more present with myself um, and what that looks like for me. And it was just, it's been so therapeutic. So I know that'd be maybe a little bit difficult, you know, to do 45 minutes, but I slowly built up to it. And it's just, it's just been a really good experience for me so far. Um, yeah, I just wanted to share that with y'all. <laughs> but also how was y'all Thanksgiving? And I don't know, I don't really like quote unquote celebrate Thanksgiving, whatever that's supposed to mean. I just eat, but uh, it just it just got too complicated this year, I felt. So I just stayed at home, and I was like, mm, I'm going to do something creative with my hair because I'm kind of in a mood, and I want to get out of it. So this was really therapeutic for me uh, to do something with my hair, which is so interesting because, like, I've been telling y'all, like, I haven't been feeling as creatively drawn to, um, like, my locks and, and whatnot, and I am still heavily uh, considering... Uh, I've made this, the decision. I am cutting my hair, but this it was just nice to be able to play I guess you could say uh but yeah um oh so I bring out those pieces like more towards the side because I want them to help in creating the effect of like flatness on the top um yeah but I do put another like rubber band because I didn't want it to begin to form a, a mohawk so I was making sure to like spread it out as I was going instead of keeping it centered and then I'm, I'm going to be honest with y'all. I did not know where I was going from here. So I was like, ooh, okay, I definitely can do some lock pedals. But if I do all lock pedals, it's going to look like floppy. And I don't really, I don't really know. So I ended up going to the bathroom really quickly to like see what I was going to do. And I ended up being in there for a little bit longer than I anticipated. By the time I got back, I was like, oh, Lord, I, did, I, I ain't been recording. But here we are. So in the center and in the back, I just do one looped uh, lock pedals. And I believe I do like a little bit of a closer up. Oh, here we are. So I just loop once and then I get my rubber band. I wrap it around and I keep wrapping it around until it's secured. And so I do that to the center and the back so that those are the um, the little bit like the midi the, the medium, the medium to longer length pedals. And when I get to the front, I start doing what I call like a double pedal. Um, and not what I call, I don't know, somebody else could have called it that too. Uh, but I do like a double pedal and I'm gonna show you guys what that looks like. I believe now, I'm not sure. Oh yeah, 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 okay, so I loop it almost like midway. Honestly, I was just gauging, like eyeballing, like it doesn't, they, they're they not at all the same. So I loop in, a, in an area where I think like that's a good length for the first loop, and then I wrap it a couple of times, and then I take the other, the, well, not the other, the actual end of the lock, and I wrap that back in towards the rubber band, and then I wrap the remaining part of that rubber band around it. So I'm using one rubber band for two loops. You feel me? Okay. And then I just kind of like flatten it out until it, it lays the way I want it to. And here I am just showing you how I do it again. <laughs> I was talking on the phone with my brother, uh, but yeah. Okay, so I loop it, I loop the rubber band a couple times, and then I take the other end of the lock or the actual end of the lock and I wrap that in. Almost like an infinity loop is what we're trying to create. And what this does is just gives us additional volume, but also creates uh, the, the desired length that I was going for. So if your hair is a little bit shorter, it, you may be able to get away with just the one loop. But if your hair is longer, you may need to do like multiple loops just to give you the shortness you're looking for. And it was at this point, I was like, ooh, this is going to be cute, girl. Ooh, 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 what, what? Okay, so, yeah, so I just wanted to speed this part up because I'm basically doing the same thing. So, um, oh, on the sides, I had been doing, like, one loop, and I'm like, yeah, I don't really like it. So now I'm going back and just doing, like, the double loop, and that's pretty much it. 
Um, yeah. But also, so I kind of sort of went like a smidge viral on Twitter <laughs> and somebody was like, really all the lock styles you could choose and you chose to look like Billy Ray Cyrus. And I'm like, wait, and mind you, this person tweeted this at like six o'clock in the morning. What? Why? Why you got this much hate in your heart? Like, what's wrong with you? <laughs> uh, I don't understand. Mm, but... Also, I got so hyped because so many people, I don't know, like this is a side note, like I've always wanted to try a mullet and I, I think it was like Rihanna that originally inspired it and it's been a couple of other people like, I think it's like Eris the Planet and some other really dope like e-girls I guess you would call them um, and I'm like that is so cute, you know, so, uh, so original, I don't like I love when there are hairstyles that are like oh my gosh that that could look so bad but when you see like the right person do it it just it just flows it just looks good and so like those type of women were like retweeting and following me and I'm like oh my gosh okay oh yes I'm feeling it I'm feeling it I'm feeling it I'm feeling it okay um but yes it just got me really excited because i'm like why not try this style oh so i'm doing the single loops in the back here as well and so any part that was a part of the top part that fell back um i just did like the one loop and you guys will see like a full um 360 of the hairstyle and see like the difference in length yeah but i think the next time that i do this hairstyle like i said i will get like some rubber bands that are a little bit closer to my um to my hair color and i will maybe go down just a little bit more with some lock petals just to give it like a little bit more i don't know like dimension and length but yeah Oh, what was this thing? Yeah, yeah. I've always wanted to try the mullet style. Oh my gosh, back in like the scene days, I thought that was so cool. Like what? Not the damaged hair, but like, you know, just the, you know. <laughs> but yeah, so I thought that was really cool. And so being able to um, create something similar uh, with my babies just made me feel pretty, pretty dope. Um, yeah. Y'all know I'd be listening to my podcast. Uh, yes, after I got off the phone with my brother, I started, I think I was listening to Serial Killers, I think. I'm not sure. Oh, 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 oh. No, I was really listening to Let's Not Meet. Y'all, that podcast is so good. Like, it's literally just people sharing their stories, and you're like, wow, this is crazy. But I love it. Like, the guy who hosted his voice, it's really nice. So, just job well done, you know? Oh, I was like, maybe I should turn around and show you guys what it looks like while I'm doing it. But it's always so funny seeing me doing my hair from this angle. So I'm like, mm, I don't know if this is like confusing or, mm, but I know it looks a little weird right now, but I promise y'all it's, it's coming together. It's coming together. Ooh, yes, yeah, she's back. Okay. Ooh, okay. Hair flip. Ah, ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, let, wait, let me see. Are we going to show the back? Ooh, oh no, we just, we just dance for it. No, but really, I feel so cute. Like, wow, iconic. Look at her. Oh, she's giving. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> but, um. Okay, yeah, here's the back. So you can see. And then I was like, ooh, I wonder what this would look like with some um, cowrie shells. And I will show you guys how I um, put them, um, how I looped them on the rubber band to make it a little bit easier. So here it is. Just pull the rubber band straight through the center. And then pull it through so that it makes like a one loop on there. Okay, so I look where I want to place it, and I wrap the other end of the rubber band, and I pull the cowrie shell through, making sure that you can see the cowrie shell from the front. And yeah, that's it. Ooh, ooh, yes, okay. 
Hey, wow, wow, iconic. I'm sorry, I did this. I really did. Ooh, okay, pause. Okay. Yes, okay, now it's just the, another like 20 seconds of me doing this. <laughs> but I was thinking about adding some to the ends, uh, but I didn't have enough for the locks that I had down, so I just let it go. But yeah, I was throwing up my peace signs, trying to decide whether I'm gonna go, but I'm, I did. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, this is the final look. Put a little makeup on, put a little outfit on, felt all cute and whatnot. Hope you guys enjoyed. All right, <laughs> peace.